there, everyone. My name is Kia, and today is February the 23rd. It's so great that you're able to join me for today's verse of the day. There's no better way than to start each day than in God's word. So my hope is to better equip each viewer to live authentically for God by expounding and applying scripture to our lives. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. Now, before we get started, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for waking us up and allowing us to see another day. You are great, Father God, and you are greatly to be praised. We magnify you in our lives, and we exalt you upon this earth, Lord, because you alone are God. Thank you for giving us this daily bread today. Lord, may we get into your word and your word be inside of us, Father God, that we may grow in the grace and knowledge of your son, Jesus Christ. So we ask your spirit to reveal your truth in us, Lord, and, and give us strength and help us, Lord, to apply your word to our lives. And Father God, we thank you. And when you do these things, we'll be mindful to give you praise, honor, and glory forever. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today's verse of the day is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Okay, so these are some parting words of the apostle Paul to young Timothy. Um, we read in, um, the first book, uh, first letter, so to speak, that Paul wrote to Timothy, um, instructing him to basically, uh, get in place, get in place, uh, people, um, who are true, you know, godly people, uh, in place for the church, um, encourage him to be bold, um, to not use, to not cower down um, in the midst of other people just because he's a young pastor. Um, so we kind of shift a little bit, um, or at least it intensifies, um, if even possible, um, in the second book or second letter to Timothy, because Paul now is in Rome. Um, Paul is now, um, no, I'm sorry, he's not in he no, he's facing execution now. So he's writing young Timothy um, because Paul is now um, facing death. So it's more important that um, he makes sure that um, these people, that these pastors or these these leaders in the churches are prepared. So undoubtedly he do, he does that and makes sure of that with um, Timothy. So his parting one of his parting words is what. I absolutely love and adore and something I really take personal in my walk with the Lord is actually today's verses of the day. Um, and it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. The reason why I take it very personally, and I hope that you do too, is because we're all going to reach a, an end point to our lives in this physical. Um, we might not have that deathbed, um, confession. We might not have that deathbed uh, moment where we can um, do all these things, but we all do reach that end point of our lives. And when we all do inevitably reach that end point of our lives, especially as Christ followers, these words I want to echo, whether out of my mouth or in my spirit, that I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. You know, we live in a day and age now where being a Christian is all too easy. It's all too uncomplicated, all too um, simple, uh, so to speak. And when I say those things, I mean that there's no challenge um, in the churches of the Western culture uh, today where there is no fight that needs to be had. Um, there's no race, really, um, to, to partake in. Um, and there's no faith to really have. And that's really sad because it is that faith, it is that race, and it is that fight that the first century uh, Christians and plenty of other Christians um, since the establishment of the church really had to go through. Um, and, I, and I'm concerned about the state of the church today because I know for me, um, and also my friend, and actually uh, a lot of my family members too, um, this walk with the Lord is not easy. 
it's not easy. And despite a lot of what some of these prosperity word of faith preachers teach nowadays, this is not a cakewalk. This is not easy. Those Christians in the first century were persecuted and, 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 and died, were murdered for their faith in Jesus Christ. They overcame so much just so we can hear the gospel message, just so they can be obedient to God and his will. And here we have in today's church and society that that same passion is not replicated at all or very seldom is. So when I reach the end of my life, I want to be able to say that I have fought the good fight, that I persevered through everything by the strength and grace of God. I want to be able to say that I have finished the race. I've done every single thing that God has required me to do on this earth, even if it was difficult. And I want to be able to say that I have kept the faith, even when everybody around me walked away from God or walked away from me for loving God. This is what I want to be able to say for myself when I face that inevitable time. I want to say it today. I want to be able to say it today. This is my goal. And I hope it becomes your goal. Brothers and sisters, this walk is not easy. Okay? If you're not in some way fighting or racing or struggling to keep faith or, or, or just struggling to just, you know, continue to stay hopeful, I question. I question. Okay, the, the I just question the doctrine and the and the commitment, um, and I hate to say that because it's really none of my business, but it is. Okay, because it's my hope and desire that no one has a false conversion or 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 spends their entire life serving a god that doesn't exist, practicing theology that is wrong, or or going to church in in, in lieu of of having a relationship with Jesus Christ. So I say that because of that conviction. And I hope those who are truly in Jesus Christ will share in that passion that Paul expressed to Timothy um, when he was going on to be with the Lord and being absent from the body, that we finish our race and that we keep our faith in Jesus Christ no matter what and fight the good fight. Brothers and sisters, Share below your comments on today's verse of the day. I am very anxious to hear what you have to say. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in for today's verse of the day. I hope and pray you come back tomorrow for more. And until then, may God bless you. Have a beautiful and a wonderful day. Bye.